Okay, in this video, I want to kind of continue from some some of the previous ones that I did around the alias um, in creating like a widget or a faceplate and using an alias to to um, have reusable graphics. <clears throat> so in this case, um, what we have not shown before is how to do a pop up uh, pop up window, or as it's kind of co called in optics, a dialog box. So we're gonna do a create a dialog box and then we'll we'll pop it up when we push a button or something to, to make it uh, pop up. Um, so just to refresh from what we had done before, I had created a you know, somewhat of a, I called it a faceplate and we were able to reuse it. So, you know, here's pump one instance, here's pump two's instance, here's pump three's instance, right? So and I had shown some various ways to, um, to, to go about doing this. So, but again, what we did not show was how to do a pop-up. So let me go code and close the emulator down. And to do this, um, well, let me first refresh a little bit on what we had done before. We had created a what we called a pump faceplate. And this faceplate was tied to an alias that I called pump alias and to a kind, which was the pump UDT. And if I come over here to my com drivers and if I come to my uh, underneath my my RA Ethernet IP and my Logix Echo I had types and variable types and here was my pump UD, UDT type and this was actually coming from a Logix controller so I had studio 5000 I created a, a UDT called pump UDT and I created three instances pumps one two and three and there were basically three tags in each, uh, you know, for, for the uh, each instance, label, running, and speed. And then just to show that we were actually, you know, pulling this information from a from a real controller, um, I'm using Logix Echo in the background, so real but emulated controller. So Optics is really grabbing these tags um, from, from the Logix controller, even though it's emulated. So that's all I had to do before was I had to create a... Um, I had to create this pump faceplate, I had to create an alias for it, and then basically anytime I used this faceplate, I just linked it to the right instance of the pump UDT. So back down here underneath my controller tags, I had pump one, pump two, pump three. So I just basically linked it to either pump one, two, or three instance, and all the tags basically um, label running and speed just passed right in to the faceplate. So that's what I did in the previous videos. But again, what we did not show was how to do a pop-up. So let's go, about, let's go about doing that. So to create a pop-up, what we're going to do is we need to create what's called a dialog box. So underneath my panels folder, I have a folder here called panels, which is nothing more than a place for me to store, um, you know, some additional panels that I create. I'm going to right click on panels folder and say new and I'm going to go con uh, containers sorry and I'm going to say dialog box and this creates a dialog box one and of a type so I'm going to go ahead and uh, rename this and I'll call it pump pop-up okay um, and then we'll double click on pump pop-up so basically it's a blank canvas right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stretch it a little bit bigger, maybe make it a little bit wider uh, just to give myself enough room to, uh, to, to add the pump faceplate widget into here. But before I do that, there's a couple things I need to do to just kind of set this up to work in the manner that we want it to be. First, we need to create an alias um, for this uh, pump pop-up. So when I, I have it highlighted, I have it clicked, I have the properties for the pump pop-up. I'm going to go ahead and press the add new and I'm going to say alias and it puts a name alias one. I'm going to go ahead and call it uh, pump pop-up alias. So just to kind of make it unique and make it stand out. And then under kind, I'm going to do kind of like I did in the previous video. I'm going to link the kind down to the type 
UDT type underneath my uh, logics com driver. So I'm going to go to types, types folder. I'm going to go to variable types. And I'm just going to highlight and click on this pump UDT type in parentheses. So the so that that just links it to the to that uh, to the kind. It links it to that that type that UDT type uh, that I'm going to you know call on each time. Um, that's kind of it for properties, with the exception of um, right now. Anytime it pops up, it will be centered both horizontally and vertically. So if you want to change that particular um, setting for where it, you know the layout. Um, uh, you know, one way, I, one way I could do is I could just say, hey, let's just align it to bottom right, perhaps, for, for just this, this application. So the next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and I also want to add a push button here in the upper corner, perhaps, to close the pop-up. So I'm going to um, come here to pump pop-up type, right-click, say new, base controls, and I'm going to add a button. And we'll stretch this button out a little bit just to kind of make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to change its name to close. And under, uh, so the only thing I need to do is basically give it uh, an event. So when I click on it, an event. So I'm going to use a mouse click event. I'm going to hit the add new method. And underneath here, I see that I have my pump pop up and I have close. So it actually has. Um, the method close already kind of opened up here in the list. So I'm just going to click on close and say select. So now when I click that button, it will close it. So next step will be to basically take my, my faceplate or my pump widget that I've created before and just bring it into the dialog box. So uh, back here at pump pop-up, I can right click, say new, go to panels, I'm sorry, uh, go to faceplates and say uh, pump faceplate. And then there's my pump widget or faceplate. Now, in the previous videos that I did around this, anytime I added this um, pump widget or faceplate, I had to link it to the, um, you know, to the alias. I had to link it to the node. Um, you know, so it, it was a pump one, pump two, pump three. We're not going to do that. Okay, we've already kind of we've already kind of created an alias for the dialog box itself. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this faceplate widget and the alias pump alias is shown up here, but I'm going to actually tie this back to the alias I created for the pop up itself. So this is the pump pop up alias. Right, uh, expand this, and then here's the pump UDT. So I'm just going to take the uh, kind of the root level here, pump UDT, and say select. Okay, so basically, you know, whatever parameters get passed into the to the dialog box, the pump pop up will then get passed into this basically pump faceplate or widget. Okay. All right. So that's all I got to do um, for this part. So now to actually make it pop up, I'm going to come back to the main window. So I want to add a push button to the main window. And we'll just uh, we'll add a button. And I'm just kind of put that about there. And I'm going to go ahead and call this pump one. So when I click this button, it'll open up that pump one pop up. So only thing I do now is I need to do the uh, a mouse click event. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of expand this up a little bit. And uh, what we'll do is we'll do on a mouse click event. I want to do a command. I want to do a UI command. I want to open a dialog window. So when I do that, now we have some input arguments. We have the dialog and we have the alias node. So the dialog is basically going to be uh, what is the, the, the dialog box we're going to open up. And we're going to open up the, got to go find it under uh, panels, pump pop-up. 
And then for the alias node, well, that's going to link it back to the instance of the pump that we want to display the data for. So under COM drivers and my RA Ethernet IP, and uh, logic echo uh, tags, controller tags, we're going to link it this to pump one. And that's basically what we did when we did the, the, the widget in the previous videos. We linked it to pump one. Um, so we're doing the exact same thing, just we put it on a dialog box. So that's that's basically the uh, that's the way how we make it into a pop up. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, right click. I'm going to right click this, say copy, and I will paste. And I will paste it again. And we'll basically create one for pumps two and three. So just change the name here to pump two. And I'm going to change the alias node to pump two. And if I go to uh, click on this one, we'll change this to pump three. And I will change the alias node to pump three. And that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And I'm going to go ahead and start the emulator. Emulator open up the other window. So basically we can see we got pump one, pump two information, pump three information. Okay. So if I pump, click on the pump three faceplate uh, pop-up, well, there it is. It popped up in the bottom right corner. Uh, it's showing the exact same data as, uh, as pump three over here. If I change this to pump two, we can see that uh, this changed, but this did not change, right? I can close this. We can open up pump two, right? So here's pump 201B showing the information. If I change it here, it changed there, right? Um, and then close this. And then pump one, here's pump one's data, right? Pump 101A. So pump two is showing here. Pump one is showing here, right? So I can kind of come back and click on this too. So just basically showing that, you know, we're, we're using the same widget uh, in the same, you know, we're using it in different ways, but they all, you know, work the same basically. So I can close this as well. So that's all we gotta do. We gotta create a dialog box. We gotta add an alias to the dialog box. And then we link that alias, um, to the, uh, you know, to the, uh, to the UDT that I created basically. And then we, we added our, our, our pump widget or whatever, widget or faceplate you need on your pop-up can go in there too. Of course, the dialog box doesn't have to use um, a widget. You can basically create a, you know, a unique faceplate each time and just use the dialog box. You know, anytime you click a button to um, the mouse event would be to open up that dialog box, basically. So that's all there is to it. Um, hope this was helpful.